Hi, I'm Phil. Welcome to Holy Habitus. Today I'd like to talk a little bit more about this idea of discipling new believers. How do we make disciples as Jesus made disciples? How do we give new Christian seekers the best start in life when it comes to their Christian walk? One of the key metaphors I found really helpful in this regard that I'd like to talk about this week is that of hatching, hatching new disciples. Now, I've never witnessed a chick hatching from an egg. Apparently it's an incredible experience. But one of the temptation that besets the onlooker is a desire to help the chick out, especially when they see that chick struggling and straining against the hard exterior of the shell, and you think, oh, he's really struggling, I want to help him out. Apparently it's the worst thing you can do though, because the muscles that the chick develops in breaking out of that shell are the muscles it needs to survive in the big wide world. And so actually, although the desire to help was a good one, it actually ends up being the opposite, it means a hindrance, a disadvantage to the chick because you've done the work for them that they needed to do as a necessary rite of passage. Um, the same is true as we disciple new believers. Sometimes the temptation is to see them, especially when they're struggling with maybe repentance and, uh, and pain of, of entering into a new life uh, and putting their faith in Jesus. The temptation is to try and do the heavy lifting for them, to explain things to them, to give them advice, tell them to do this, to make the decisions for them, all this kind of thing. Actually, they need to work that out with God for themselves. Now we can create an incubating space, like it be an incubator, we can uh, create an environment of warmth and light and uh, support and encouragement, we can uh, remove obstacles uh, that are going to uh, hinder the process, we can protect them from crushing boots and uh, scampering reptiles and foxes that would carry them off the second they emerge. But at the end of the day, the mystery is down to them and God. St. Paul says something similar in 1 Corinthians 3 when he says of the Corinthians, I planted the seed, Apollos watered it, but it's God who brings the growth. And that mystery is down to God's work in that person. So we need to be very conscious of that um, rather than believe that we are making these disciples, we are giving birth to this new believer. That's a work of the Spirit. It's a mystery. Henry Cloud, coming at this from the position of a Christian psychiatrist, has a slightly different take on this. I think it's quite helpful. It's a metaphor from the world of um, neuroscience. He says that when you give somebody advice, their brain is asleep. But when you encourage them to figure it out for themselves, their brain starts to light up and, and literally rewires itself to enable a new thought and a new behaviour. We need to make space for new believers to figure things out for themselves with God's help. To, rather than to help them, to help them find how God can help them, if that makes sense. If we do that, they'll develop the spiritual muscles, not only to survive, but thrive in the big wide world, and we'll have the pleasure and the joy one day of seeing them fly.